Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 843. Hey, if you want to download this work by 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. Hey, in trick 843, we want to do similar something similar to, that, to what we did back in 842. Here we create an extra column with a formula that told us when there was a duplicate item in the column. In 843, we want to do it for an entire record. So you can see here we have 1 and 2. The 2 is a duplicate, and so we want to put the word dupe in this column next to the data set. Now, if you were simply going to delete the records, then highlight the set and go to data, remove duplicates is just an awesome feature that came in in 2007. All right, so here's what we have to do in this one. Last video we used count if, but here we're going to use count ifs with an S because we have four things to. Um, check for. So as we go down, here I see 215 Bellin WFM and 271. So I sh that's the first record. But here I see 215 Bellin WFM and 271. That's the second time that it's occurred. So we're going to use the count ifs function. Now count if is what we used last video. That counts with one conditions. The S version counts with one or more conditions. Now we're going to use an expandable range, because as we go down, we want it to start looking at more and more records. So for the criteria range, I'm going to click in A2, colon, and then comma, criteria 1 will be this. Now what's this construction mean? I'm going to come back over to criteria range. That range right now, I want to put my cursor in A2 and hit the F4 key and lock the first A2. So I'm going to hit F4 once and twice. That means the row reference is locked. Now that means A2 is locked. The second part of this range with the colon is not. That means as it, we copy it down, this range will expand. There's the criteria, always looking relatively. Now let's just see what this does. And this will also illustrate that you can use the S version for a single criteria. right? So in this case, I'd be counting how many um, 14s there are. There's one. But as I copy it down, there aren't any more 14s, but there's lots of 15. That's the first one. Ooh, that's the second, the third. And if you double click or F2 to put in edit mode, you can see, sure enough, that blue range is expanding. The A2 is locked. The A5 is not. Now we need to extend that exact logic to three more columns. So I'm going to click at the end, comma. I see that criteria range 2. I click there, colon, comma, B2. I'm going to come back here and lock this one, F4, comma, and now I'm going to do the same thing, C2, colon, comma, C2, comma, the fourth criteria range, and then colon, comma, that. Now I'm going to, I just put that in there. Now we're going to come back and lock these. There's criteria four. There's criteria range four, and I need to lock that first D2, but not the second. Criteria 3, criteria range 3, lock the first one but not the second one. Criteria 2, and then we have that. Now that should work. We have four expandable ranges. Control Enter, double click and send it down. OK, so now that looks like we're, it's working, right? All four expandable range are, are expanding as we copy it down. We got a 2, a 2. Now we need to not have numbers here. We want to put this first one in edit mode, and we want to take this count ifs, which is a calculating formula delivering a number, right? And we want to convert this to a logical formula. I'm going to say anytime that result is greater than 1. That comparative operator inside your formula converts this to a logical formula that will deliver a true or a false. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. There's our true for our two duplicates. Now I'm going to use that inside the if. The first argument is logical test. It's expecting a true or a false. Comma, the value of true. That means this is a duplicate, in double quotes, dupe. The value if false. I'm going to put a null text string. That's double quote, double quote. That will show nothing. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And there we have it. We have a formula that will count dupes when we have records to look at. All right, see you next video.